I see who who's our who's our top players now. Hell Scream is still top. I think. Got Hell Scream, Absolute CK. Wow, laggy, laggy. When everyone starts starts their game, it becomes really laggy. Yeah, it's the yeah. it's a server, it's a client that's lagging. We got Hell Screamer game started. Hell Screamer, um, Absolute Tech. Or you want Absolute CK versus Absolute Tech let's, versus Strongest Decoy? Let's look at our Angel because he's running blue. Angel. Or sing yeah, in E N G L E. Angel. 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 So Angel is versus Sudisan. Uh, V zero one one. Ah, V zero one. Okay, let's see how they do. Let's go. Uh, their yeah, game. So, so it's not started yet. Not started. Yeah, not started yet. Looks like a wow. really cre creep deck for for Angel. Yes. Luna and Veno. Luna Veno. Two Farvan. Double Farvan. Huh. Let's look at his cards. This doesn't really have that much strong green though. Single rose leaf, and that's it. For okay, let's, uh -huh. let's hop into uh the third game, Mango GX versus Singla. Okay. Uh because there's there's blue blue Singla is laying blue as well. Then they're, they're both also uh oh red blue and red blue and splash <clears throat> green thing. Blue game are Mango more interesting. GX versus Singla. Wow, look right, at so their, this is their flop. Look at uh, Mango, Mango's card. Emissary Forum, Incarnation of Salamene. <laughs> so they, they, both, they both have Incarnation of Salamene, but uh, oh, yeah. Mango has Emissary. Interesting. I think Mango is very... <coughs> Mango has Spring Trap as well. So Mango's uh, card is slightly slower. Yeah. Singlar is slightly more aggressive with, with his Yes. Rate. Red, blue, slightly more aggressive. Um, bronze Legionnaire. How about, how about items? They both run Golden Ticket. <laughs> Lol. Alright. So... <laughs> Everyone you know... just loves Golden Ticket. <laughs> Casino Royale running here. Although I would say that, yeah, you're right. Uh, Sing, Sing Vlar is a bit more aggressive. And he does have, I guess, uh, look, the more aggressive weapons as well. Okay, look at what Mango just played. The D portal. Yeah. yeah. Mm, he's going wide here in the top. Right? Mango actually has cards that go wide. Both of them has cards that go wide. Both, has, both of them has one dimensional portal. And both of them have it in their hand. But Mango has spring the trap as well. Yeah, yeah. And emissary as well. So emissary, I think Mango X uh, deck is more supportive towards going wide. Yeah, and also Arm the Rebellion. He's got uh, yeah, yeah. Avernus yeah. as well, Miss of Avernus. Under yeah. Secrets. Under o Secrets as well, yeah. OPOP. OP. I think Mango's deck <laughs> is really uh, looking strong. Yeah, Mango's deck seems to be a bit, a bit stronger, especially with Green Splash. He has some really solid green cards. Selfish Cleric. No. Savage Wolf. Savage Wolf, yeah. From the uh, Lycan. These are these are very decent uh, green cards. Uh, yeah. With this Savage Wolf play, Singla, I think you play the uh, Legionnaire standard. You have to kill the wolf. You have to kill the wolf. Yep. So if you don't kill it now. Been... Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. You s so you play you a zombie here. The wolf. Play a zombie and curve. And... Oh! oh! Okay, he, he rolled that. Lucky him. <laughs> Lucky him. Rewarded, rewarded. Rewarded. Then, Not punished. Not punished. So that was a very, very strong play. Keeps his hero alive, kills the wolf. And he basically wins the lane by just doing that. Yeah, you yeah, to plan. Absolute tech always complains about his back. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a snowballing bristle back in the bottom lane that's not being contested right now. Bristlebeth has two armor. <laughs> yeah. And you can't really drop your hero there. Yeah. But I think you have to. You can drop the Beastmaster there, he can survive for two turns. I think you have to drop the Jumoi there and play the D portal. Playing for first lane was is a yeah. bit harder, but 
He wants fine. to DP in the first lane as well. Yeah. Okay. I think that is also fair. The dimensional portal plus corpse torso. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Throwing the hammer. So what can you play? I think you D portals here. Yeah, I think D port D portals sure. should be the thing. Just install it up. There's nothing, nothing much uh <coughs> Mango can do, except for still reinforcements. Okay, is going to defend mid. Makes sense. So you rookery one of the you rookery one of the you need to kill a uh, one creep. Killing melee creep is very important in this game. Uh, melee creep means seal the game. Yeah, because both of them go wide, so melee creep is the one that. Oh, he didn't use it. Did he just pass? Oh, yeah, he used it. Wait, what? Uh, I'm not sure if I agree with the melee creep. He rookeries the creep into the Thunder God. Uh, Thunder okay. God is two turns away, and he doesn't have it in hand. Uh, it's better exactly. killing melee creeps. I think it's better to kill me creeps here. And Mango Concussive Shell and play nothing. Yep. yep. I think that's a good move. Oh, okay. Saved. Yeah, you might as well use it. Yeah, might as well. Alright, you Legion Standard Barrier here to push damage. Push four extra. So you you play Legion standard barrier on the right. Yeah, on the right, Legion right. On the or he okay well, he he did that instead. <laughs> that is fine. I like the de uh, developing the barrier. Pushing damage is the most important thing in this game, and the most overlooked game, most overlooked part in this game is to pushing early damage. You want to inch yeah. out as many damage as you can in this game. Uh, it, it will then matter. You are quicker towards lethal, I guess. Yeah, it, it matters. So Artifact mm. is the same as Dota. Uh, a lot of Dota, uh, newer Dota players, they enjoy killing stuff, but they don't <laughs> take objectives. Yeah, it's the same, same as Artifact. I think it's the same with a lot of uh, mobile games, because even I used to play Heroes of Storm as well. A lot of people are just so tunnel vision towards just killing heroes and not securing objectives. Because in he Heroes of the Storm, objectives is, plays a larger role, a really big role in the game. And a lot of players just tunnel vision to killing heroes, they don't do objective. Yep. So, Singla has the rooted in hand. That might uh, be a game changing play uh, in, this, in this game. So, Mango GX, you get nothing, you can. Yeah, you do the you quit the item. You do. They call it the item passing because you want your opponent to play the cards first. So you just equip an item and pass the ball to your opponent. So this is see what your opponent does, right? Make yeah. them use them. Because you don't want to just pass. If you just pass and your opponent just pass, also you, you might get punished. That is right, exactly. You you waste your mana as well. So here you play the cleric in front of the. The beast master. The beast. The wolf. The beast. The wolf. Uh, yeah. Uh, what, what's that? Oh, dog? A dog? Loyal uh, beast. It's a beast. Loyal beast. <laughs> a beast. Such a loyal beast. It, has, it looks like a, a cat, but it has tusks and it has spikes on its back. So it is basically a, a pig a beast. cat. It's a a pig beast. cat hedgehog. Oh, corpse thrower. That's going to do so much tower damage, actually. Oh, yeah. One, How many is that? Two, One, three, two, four, three, four. Five, six. Eight, eight, eight damage. It's just melee creep, so it's eight damage. Eight damage. Yeah. Uh, eight damage is a lot. Yep, that's like what. So uh, I think you you rookery the Kifi to hit the tower. Hit the tower. Rookie, Kifi, the tower. Maybe does he know that though? Oh, what, what, what do you mean? Does he know that? Does he know you can rookery a tower? Probably he's four wins. Oh, he, yep, there we go. <laughs> he did it. He did. He did that. Do, 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 do. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that animation though. That animation. Eclipse. 
Alright. Oh. Okay. No more Eclipse. <laughs> Remote assassination. <laughs> That's an interesting animation. You can conscript here and push more damage. Yeah, he can. Stop or he can also legion to kill his creep. He can legion right to kill the uh, main creep. Probably conscript, yeah. Conscript. Yeah. Oh yeah. The opponent has that's just another, used mana. Yeah, that's another body that he has to watch out for. Yeah. Yep, indeed. Bristol back on the right. Yeah, Bristol back is just taking the lane by himself. Classic Bristol back lane. No one wants to go there. Shoot of Aquila bought by Mango. Yep. That's gonna help the uh, top lane. Oh, creep spawns. Bottom lane, Mango is just gonna have a uh, cons constant clear shots at the tower. You can even spring the trap from the right lane as well. Yep. Yeah. So Eclipse has potential to kill two hero no more. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, hero just power, power playing. Power playing. Now you're happy that you are the one who has the rooted, not your opponent. And so he can't drop the Eclipse himself now. He can drop it next turn. Uh, which is with yeah. the Luna. Hmm. So you for same line you want to hold initiative for for the next two lanes. Yeah. Next turn. Yep. So I think you play whatever here, you play uh probably a Legion Standard Barrel. In front in of front Lycan. Of the, uh, Lycan, yeah. 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 Push another ten. Or we can do curry to kill the lichen. I think I think e... Or even the uh Mazzy as well. I think you hit tower. So you are tower with the creep dying yeah, you ten damage, you know, to the tower. Ten damage and but with one creep dying is twelve damage. Exactly. I think you don't kill the lichen here. I think you kill the creep here. Because he has one item in hand, and you don't really know what is that for a singular. Oh, okay. he's gonna use the. Okay, that's that's a that's a better that's play. A, yeah, that's an alternative. Pushes the tower down to four. Mid lane, uh, singular can't do anything. Shield here. Singular. Okay. Oh, okay. So he's gonna defend mid. Third and lane. this is an uncontested Bristol. Just whacking away at the tower. 10 damage spring every turn. You spring a trap left. Or this lane. Or a bit. Probably middle lane. You spring a tra trap middle lane. Yeah, you, you probably spring the trap to the middle lane. Yeah, mi middle lane. Top lane is. Yeah. Oh, or he's gonna continue pressuring here. So spring is left right. Interesting. Yeah. So I think Eclipse should be a full clear here. Six charges, uh, yeah, should be a full clear. Right, drop Luna, dropping Luna on the first lane, and then you play rooted. No, you don't have enough mana. Six charges yeah. on Eclipse, kills yeah. everything. Yeah. Sadly, he can play rooted, which would, which which would have been like really so much like, value. So question so is, value. do you play Luna first or second lane? Oh, oh. mid lane Luna, interesting. Okay, I guess. I guess he wants Eclipse mid. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's fair. Yeah, I think it's fair because uh, you you are you basically you basically win lane one. Maybe. Not yet. Almost, almost. You have your ogre cup sorted. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Two more cards. Sing, 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 <laughs> Singla doesn't really have good plays here. So you probably just play the rooted. On one. Alright, you are not going to get more value than this because your Luna is going middle. Probably, yeah. Uh, and Lycan is coming back next turn and you don't have any play. So you might, might as well just play the Rooted. I think... Yeah, maybe just keep initiative as yeah, well. Yeah, you keep initiative, yeah. You keep initiative. Yeah. That, that, that's better. So you can guarantee a Eclipse mid. Sorry, mythic. Uh, yeah. 
Why didn't the Zeus just Mystic Flare? To kill like Yeah. The, exactly. To kill the Interesting. Hmm. That prevents little damage. I guess he wants to save it for some some somewhere else. Yeah, rooted. <laughs> That's rooted. <laughs> Lol. Now you're on, like, on a single lichen. Now you give up initiative and your Luna dies. Yeah. With a uh, single mistake flag. Alright. Yep. <laughs> Bango oh, just passed back the initiative. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All the initiative passing. Man. Okay. Okay, now you eclipse. Eclipse to clear the board. Eclipse to clear, yep. And then buying time just to mess with him. There's no other play. That, I mean, it's, it's just sitting in your hand. You, you yeah. can't have any better use of your mana anyways. Might as well, right? Yeah, you're right. Might as well. But he's thinking like, do I want to Eclipse here? Okay, he yeah, does this, this is not really I mean, a good board. Might as well. You kill everything. And then buy. Yeah. Not a lot of value, but... So both players are making decent plays. This lane is done, you TP out Bristol back and let the lane develop by itself. You want to be uh, very sure you can drop the yeah. Okay. Press that there, yep. The, the now he TPs. Uh, TPs. Correct. Good, good, good. Oh these are good plays. Well, no surprise, they are like, they are undefeated. Yeah, so you drop <laughs> party lane again on the first lane. <laughs> party on eight, the first lane. Eight heroes first in top lane. Eight heroes. He has Primal Roar, so he can, he can just put the uh, Jimui I there. I think you have to play for the win, right, if you are Singla? Yeah. Put Jimo there and put the timber on mid. Yeah. And Mango is calling it. He's not going first. He's calling the. He's thinking that Singla is deploying R first, so he's trying to jabate Singla. I think that's a decent play. It's a it's a safer play. Yeah. If Mango deploys R first lane, and Sigla somehow manages to hold and deploy second, uh, he he will lose the game. He just loses. Yeah, he just yeah, loses, he loses right yeah. off the bat. Huh. But there's two melee creeps though. There's yeah, two, two melee. Mid. He has Primal Roar. Depending on uh, the placements, could roar two heroes. Okay. Okay, you can. So I think you save it and roar. Oh, he lost another that. roar. Okay. You just draw and then buying time and skip. I think you draw. Uh, you don't really need initiative for your second lane because looking at Mango's deck, uh, red and green cards are not that scary. Yeah. Oh, he locked his uh, Thunder God and Mystic Flare. But he's <laughs> little bit <laughs> he, he knows. Two copies of both. Of each. Mango has both two of each. Does he want the Mystic Flare here? Oh, he Thunder Gods here. Oh, huh, okay. It's a weird Thunder God. Doesn't really achieve anything. Mystic Flare, what, what, what can you flare? You can flare on the left and kill two creeps. And basically that's it. Yeah, that's true. So Stellar is dropping. Yep. On the next lane. Summon? Okay. So, we, we might see a power turn here. Yeah. With red and yeah, exactly. He can even dump uh, no point. What am I, what am I talking about? Double roll. <laughs> Double roll. Pointless. One stun is not enough. Let me give you two stuns. Let me just double guarantee that you're stunned. He can drop incarnation of Solomene and a power turn for him. Yeah. 
Oh, Mango has double Savage Wolf. And the Rooted is making him at 8 mana. Okay, so does yeah. he smash the defenses first? Draw? He draws first here, right? With smash. Oh, he roars the Lycan out, okay. Yep. Locking, he locking, locking him out of green so there's no more Savage Wolf. Alright. Okay, let's see what he draws. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ooh. That clears the oh. board. Is that 7, 9, 10, 18? 18 damage. Oh, that was a nice draw for him. 15 damage. Matt. <laughs> Matt, easy. So, so did he just draw Eclipse from Smash the Defense? <laughs> yes. Oh. oh. That was a good draw for him. That was the yeah, that was... good draw for Slingvar. So Slingvar probably can push lethal. Yeah, so it's for GG. Unless of course somehow uh Mangan can can Mang Mango do anything with his Mystic Flair? No. Yeah, he I think needs, Mystic Flair. He needs a TP. Oh, he's no TP. Yes, he, he needs no dagger. Mystic Flair first lane uh, is the right play, I think. You you are playing for the win. Yeah. So what can you do? Hmm. Can he win this lane? He can Mystic Flare and play a creep. He can savage wolf. Mystic um, Flare, where the that? the terrible uh, the Beastmaster. He has a mall. Yeah. So he savage wolf. Yeah, I go. Yes, yeah. Mystic Flare, Beastmaster. You're right. So now, okay. Still okay. Fine. Is that uh, still enough? It's still enough. Yeah, it's still enough. He has no. He has no enough mana. He can't savage wolf. Uh, savage wolf can't. You, you know, it's blocked, right? So you need to deal. You need to deal uh, how many damage? You need to deal 12 damage. Maul is yeah. 5. Red Beast Maul is 5. So you need to deal 7 extra damage. I can't see a way. You can't kill the Beastmaster. Yeah, so enough. Sad. Sad life. Wait, can he, can he uh, Mystic Flare the Beastmaster kill all 3? He can't. Beastmaster is 5 health. Oh, it's not Red Mist Maul, it's the Magicking Maul. He has Red Mist Maul in the hand. He has, yeah, in hand. Oh, he does he? Oh, right, yeah, he does. You're right. But now he's, he can't play that damage because it's no longer blocked. Yeah. The Siege is uh, not there. Wait, couldn't, couldn't he have uh, used the Thunder Gods, uh, the Mystic Flare? On the like centered on the beast master, so he kills beast plus two. Creeps. No, it doesn't kill beast because he only does four damage. He had five health. So it it spreads evenly across uh, the lane. Oh, yeah. evenly, yeah. Okay, okay, uh, yeah. yeah, okay, evenly. So it, it won't it won't kill beast master. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. It just needs Not four more damage. Not Is enough. it possible? No. I think mid. Yeah, I think it's probably GG, right? Yeah, if he had one more mana. <laughs> if him. there was no routed, I, I think he could have won here. Yeah, without routed, uh, it's, <laughs> it's GG. <laughs> well, Singlar can still primal raw. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's yeah. game. Okay. That, that was a clutch draw. <laughs> for yeah, it's okay, clutch draw. <laughs> <laughs> Eclipse. Let's look at Yugi's game. Mooncat versus Yugi. How's their what's their win what's their uh win score like? So they are three one. They are both nine points. They're both at three one, yeah. They're both at three one. Still on the run. Mooncat versus Yugi. Okay, so Mooncat has a green red deck and Yugi has a black green slash red. You look at this, double X. Double X. Double <laughs> what X. is this? Mune can have double X. OP OP. And I think he might have he might not be able to win this. Or he it can be a double X. Put a farben mid, yeah. He puts a farben mid. Yugi is yeah, Yugi is a hit, which is interesting. Despite that double X. Losing with double X feels bad. <laughs> yeah, it feels bad, man. It's embarrassing. Buff X. X is a buff. <laughs> <laughs> Three armor. <laughs> 
So there's nothing mm. happening in the first lane. So let's hop to the second lane. My client's a bit slow. So what can Yugi do to ensure lethal? He can primal roar. Oh no, he can't. Primal roar doesn't work because there's uh, nothing no. blocking. Yeah, kind nothing of blocking. Yeah. No, uh, the, the farmer is blocking. Oh yeah, yeah farmer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, farmer. Oh yeah, he can farm. But is it three? Is it lethal though? No, it's not enough. No, that's three damage only. Yeah. Ten mana. So you can what? What can you do? You can can slay into a conscript. That's seven damage. That's true. Uh, you mean conscript and slay? Yeah, conscript and slay. Yeah, uh, conscript and slay. Oh wait, the other way around also works. This, this is the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, because no, you, if you have to put if yeah, you slay yeah. first. It might, the arrow might board. be bad. Yeah. So you should conscript then slay. I think you slay first. Because you play around vertical calls. If you slay the the Prowler Vanguard, you can put you can put the auto conscript on the right. Left right. But the thing is if you on, put left right there's a 25% the right, chance on, of on the right, on the right. Sorry on the right, sorry my bad, yes on the right. There's a twenty five percent chance of not hitting it. Yeah. But true, yeah, that's that's a safer play. You you play around vertical calls. If but he has berserker calls, he can deal. He he could have lethal. Hmm. Indeed, indeed. Eleven. So that's who? so. This is a very key turn, and Mutecat has five more seconds. <laughs> wow. So wow. if yeah, I think Mutecat Mutecat uh don't have lethal here, right? You can't um... you can't juke your farmer. Because uh, there's a space in the middle. <laughs> Can you duelist and then swap? And then oh, juke? so he's he's not doing anything. Yugi's not doing it. I think Yugi's. Wow, wait. Wow. Hey, this is a very smart move. Nice, nice. I see. Just a clear X. Okay, so with this play. Yugi probably might win mid. So Yugi can play red cards. Next turn. He can yep. conscript, he can roar. Uh, there's no roar target, but he can conscript. Well, Mooncat has to think fast, he's running out of time. Yeah. Yugi as well. Huh. So it's weird that uh, oh wow, Yugi's deployment is good. Double creep mid. So which means he can play creeps on. Okay. Okay, but what? He still what can't kill. No, but the, the the thing is, if she is it if Yugi draws creep. Yeah, if he draws one creep. Yes, if he draws one more creep, can he can do it? Actually, no. He has. But he has, cat has like three creeps in hand. <laughs> true. True. Three dollies. Three delays, wow. <laughs> so Yugi has Thunder Height and Rose Leaf and Champion of the Ancients. Whereas Mooncat doesn't have any of those. So you can't do anything here. Well it seems like Yugi has a better uh, late game creeps than uh, Mooncat. Now you roll, right? You definitely roll. Yeah, you can roll, roll yeah, and lethal. Roll. Yep. Uh, it's not, not lethal yet. It's two damage off. But you lock lock him out of green. And that that's a yeah. bad deployment. <laughs> bad bad do this. You'll just enable the raw thing. Exactly. <laughs> so you heal as you get. Plus and you, yeah, that's correct. You heal and you play around Berserker Call. Fifteen damage. You shoot the creep? Yeah. This animation is always funny, the whole yeah. advantage. <laughs> 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 oh. Kills the fire. Okay. I'm not sure about killing this. You might want to just kill the creep on the middle lane. 
on mid, yeah, just to get rid of it. Shiva's got not enough to buy nothing. Shield, go oh. ahead, buy a shield. Value? Or not. Okay, double deployment mid for Yugi, I'm guessing. Act yeah, mid, I'm sure. And the creep spawn, you, once again, Yugi in the top lane. The thing is, Yugi doesn't have initiative. If he does, oh, okay, never mind. Could not stun X. No, so I was thinking if uh, if Yugi had initiative, he might have a chance to stun X with Primal Roar. Okay. Oh, get, uh, yeah, Yugi for the win. All right, cool. Yugi, our representative. There's one more game left. Ah, the grill. <laughs> always so somehow ends up here. Hmm? Sorry? It all, somehow always ends up with the grill as the last, the last match of the round. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'm, in the, I'm in the game right now. So it looks like Elyria is winning. No, it's not winning yet. Elyria is losing. Yeah, Dead on Lyria the, uh, is one tower down, and uh, lane one, uh, Lyria is uh, gonna, probably going to lose. Koopa Troopa is threatening, threatening lethal on lane one. Yeah, with X as well. There's so many X's. Oh, yeah. So many X's this time. Where are my X's in my draft? I've never drafted X before. <laughs> hmm. Is there any outs? They have very small hands both yep. sides <laughs> wow how did they end up having such small hands let's look at the decks are they decks both like low mana, mana curves yeah they're all low mana curves look at low that 1, 2, three, four, yeah, right. 2, 3, 4 although I would say that uh, Koopa Troopa has more late game than Elyria yep Thunder Hype Rose Leaf Spring of Trap with, uh, yeah Rep's Hell X is Elyria doesn't have any of those game. Elyria only has that here is the, like the highest mana minion. Yeah. So there's and no Rosie. there's no creep for for Koopa Troopa in the middle lane. No black, can't use Koop. What? There's 17 mana on this tower. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't really do much. Sell him is... <laughs> uh, for <laughs> Illyria plays Doubles has Lemonin's favor, but no high cost cards to abuse it. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of a wonky deck. <laughs> it's a counter, what a wonky deck. Counter synergy. Yeah, counter synergy. So he has, she has stars aligned and Lemonin's favor, which is like ramps, but nothing high ramps, mana. Yeah. yeah. What a waste. Okay, so game is not ending yet. You know what, Abaddon? Yesterday, my game, Abaddon, uh, I just, the signature card for Abaddon just saved me from Tide of Triumph. <laughs> my opponent plays a 3-man Tide of Triumph, I, I have 3 of that Aphotic Shield in hand. And <laughs> wow. pur pur purchase all, all, the, all the Triumphs. So you can Coop X here, uh, Solar here. Push, pu pushes for extra more damage. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Can even use the mall, get rid of one one of the things. Yeah. Avernus probably the better one. The gold doesn't really matter now. Yeah. Yeah. I think Avernus is probably the better one to kill, to destroy. Oh it's random. Oh it's random, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's random. 50-50. Arcane Sensor doesn't really matter anymore. Oh. Oh, I okay. I guess Koopa is playing more just to just to, you know. 33%. Now it's 33%. Is odds. he gonna do it? Or well, might as well, the cooldown is like one, so one round. Take note that Elyria has trebuchet and the collateral damage. So he's dealing 5 per turn. Collateral damage on uh, PA. So he's dealing 5 per turn. Ah, okay. Interesting. Collateral damage. What if, if uh, he's blocked? So, but the thing is, he doesn't, her siege is not affecting. So. Yeah, if he, if she's not blocked, then she's hitting a tower. Two, yeah, you're right. So Olivia is still threatening lethal, but I think Koopa might be able to take lane one. Both of them has no creeps. So depends on, on creeps and draws. 
and it gets rolled. Oh, red mist mole. Okay, he put red red mist on X. So he bought red mist. Wow, double <laughs> the the creep deployment for Elira is damn good, and the creep for Koopa is bad. Okay, no, it's okay. Defend it's okay. mid as well. So he can all, he can all in mid. Wow, double black mid. Interesting. Huh. Triple black mid now. So if Koopas doesn't draw Berserker Call, it's GG, right? Is it? Not yet. He can defend Does it. Does have little mid? Oh, oh he has Oglody. Okay. Oglody, okay. Yeah, that, that changes, changes everything. everything. <laughs> they both have Oglody, but, but he can use it. Koopa can't use it. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Never mind. That's, that's Never still mind. a Rebel Decoy. Rebel Decoy. And then uh, Red Mist Mole. Wait, is it enough? No, it's not enough. Red Mist Mole on the X is enough. Is it enough? 5, 11, yeah, no, it's not enough. enough. And Berserker oh, Call. Oh, there you go, Berserker Call. There you go. Of course. I'm blind. GG. <laughs> yes, GG. <laughs> we didn't see that, that <laughs> Are we blind? <laughs> uh, blind commentators. Okay, there's GG. Okay, now let's go to our next round.